I know, you're freaking out right now because either your TikToks have been getting zero views lately or they're getting zero views this morning or this evening or in the past couple days you've seen that TikTok has been glitching a ton and giving people zero views. Well, don't worry. The world isn't gonna end. You're not shadow banned. And no, Trump is not getting rid of TikTok. So just stop stressing out for a second and let me tell you the three reasons that this could be happening to you. I'm gonna explain to you all three of them. I'm gonna tell you what you could do about every single one of them, what you should do when it's happening to you. And then you guys can get back to posting, back to growing because this opportunity might be the greatest opportunity ever, especially since TikTok was mentioned by CNN and the Secretary of State. Way more people have downloaded the app. First though, I need you to do a really small favor. I have a goal of hitting 100,000 subs on YouTube so I need you to smash that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Let's get into it. Also, I wanna let you know, I'm the CEO of helping people grow on TikTok. If you're interested in this video, you're probably only watching this because you're freaking out right now or you're already subscribed and you've been watching my content. Nevertheless, I am the CEO of helping people grow on TikTok. If you wanna know anything about the TikTok algorithm, the For You page, anything like that, make sure you watch the rest of my content. Make sure you leave a comment on this video too because I answer every single question I get on my podcast that you guys can find in the link in the description. Or you could just find it by searching Not Another Internet Guru wherever you listen to podcasts. So the first reason that you're probably experiencing zero views on your TikTok is just because it's under review. It doesn't mean that TikTok's looking into you. It doesn't mean that you've been putting out bad content. And no, Karen, it doesn't mean that they know that you Googled, I want to buy followers on TikTok, and now they're banning you for it. Seriously, I get DMs like that all the time. They all go something like this. Hey, Rob, I'm in a lot of trouble. I need help, this, that, the other. And then they go into saying, I just Googled before that I'm looking to buy followers on TikTok or I'm trying to buy fake views on TikTok. And ever since then, my TikToks are getting zero views. Do they know what's going on? Do they know what's happening? Do they know that I Googled that? Well, no, Karen. They have absolutely no idea that you Googled that. That being said, do not buy fake views. Do not buy fake followers. TikTok is not Instagram. They're going to know that you're doing that. You could get away with that shit on Instagram, but on TikTok, your stuff is gonna end up getting shadow banned really, really quickly because they know exactly what's going on. So, TikTok likely just put your video under review. No, it doesn't mean that they're looking into you. It doesn't mean anything like that. This happens to creators of all sizes, of all languages, from all countries, in all niches. It doesn't matter. This just randomly happens sometimes. They pick a video and say, hey, we're gonna put this under review. The good part is though, they typically push these videos out even more once they're at a review. To truly know if a video is in review or not, try to get one of your friends to look at the video or to share the video. If they can't see it, and yeah, it's just under review. If it's stuck like this for more than 72 hours, I strongly suggest you guys just delete the video. Especially if you've posted again like an hour or two later and that video got views and that one is still just stuck at zero, just delete the video. The second reason that this can happen, which has been happening a lot more frequently lately, which is kind of weird because TikTok came out with that, or not TikTok, but the news came out with that thing and said, hey, TikTok's getting deleted and then that zero view glitch happened then it happened to everybody, it was a huge outage. It's been a lot more outages as of recently. That being said though, it's just a TikTok outage. Just happens from time to time. It's totally normal for an app, for a website, for anything like that, a service, a software, to just go out from time to time. They're just outages. It happens. That's what happens when there's a ton of people on the app. The reason that it happened to TikTok is because way more people went on the app as a result of the Secretary of State and CNN mentioning the app. It just caused way more people to go on the app. Way more people downloaded the app. This actually helped TikTok way more than it hurt TikTok at all because TikTok got millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars worth of free press. And I do want to assure you, no, it does not mean when there's a zero view problem that hey, Trump is banning the app. I saw a ton of people going live like, hey, this is over, this, that, the other, when we were getting the zero view glitch like two or three days ago. No, that's not the case at all. That is not happening at all. Actually, when stuff like this happens, it helps creators a lot more than it hurts them. Yeah, nobody can post on the app, but that being said, if you have videos that are on the For You page, when nobody can post, that means that the supply of content decreases. Everybody's on the app because nobody's logical. Nobody just puts their phone down and says, hey, I'll come back to this in an hour or two when it's fixed. They all freak out and keep watching videos and trying to post things. But if TikTok's not taking a new supply of content, well then guess what? The supply goes down, the demand goes up because since people can't post, they're just gonna watch videos and actually in turn, it makes you get a ton more views on your posts. And like I had said, believe it or not, but the TikTok scare actually helped TikTok way more than it hurt it because way more people downloaded the app, way more people are on the app. I don't care what the news says, this app is not going anywhere. In addition to it helping when there's a glitch or something like that, it also helps when TikTok gets mentioned in the news. As a result of it getting mentioned in the news and getting tens of millions of dollars worth of free press, way more people are on TikTok now and guess what? They're not producing as much content as the people that were on it beforehand were. They're just on there being nosy. They're just checking out content. So that means that the supply and demand shift has changed. The curves have changed. There's less supply of content now and more demand for content, which means that we're all going to get more views. We should all be incredibly happy that this happened because yeah, at the end of the day, it means we're going to get more views. Even though this is a different algorithm, as long as you're posting according to what the algorithm wants, and if you don't know what that is, you need to check out my other videos. Nevertheless, though, if you're posting according to what the algorithm wants, you're getting 
on the For You page, there is now more of an opportunity than ever before to get new followers and to get more views. Thank you, Donald Trump. Thank you, Secretary of State. And thanks, CNN, for spreading this fake news and causing this hysteria because at the end of the day, it helped us all out. Whenever you think there is an issue like this and TikTok is down, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to diagnose it. But first, I need you to do me a huge favor and go follow these two creators, at Cena Folly and at Sharky LQ. They're both in my mentorship program. They're both crushing it. Cena is a body artist and she is doing an amazing job. Those of you that are artists and don't think you could produce six pieces of content every day, she is crushing it with more than six pieces of content every day. If you want to learn how to do this, you need to go check her out. You need to go follow her. She's already gained thousands of followers in just a couple days in my mentorship program and she's really going to crush it. In addition to that, Sharky LQ makes gaming content and trust me guys, he's going to blow up. He's in my mentorship program. He is no doubt, undoubtedly going to blow up. If you guys want to make gaming content or want to make content that is similar to gaming content, you guys need to check him out because I'm telling you, I'm giving him a lot of really good advice. He's going to implement it and he's going to grow really quickly. We all started zero. I did, he did, Cena did, everybody does. Everybody, even you watching this video, we all started zero and trust me, there is no better way to get an education than to get in on somebody when they only have 500 or 1,000 followers and then they blow up past 10K and you could be like, whoa, I just watched that happen and then you can model yourself off of them. So whenever you experience zero views on your TikToks, you need to do two things. First, say, okay, the app is either one, down, or two, the post is just under review. All you have to do is go to Google, type in, is TikTok down? Downdetector.com is gonna come up. It's gonna show you where TikTok is down, what kind of issues it's experiencing, and it's gonna give you some peace of mind because you now know, oh, the world isn't ending. TikTok is just down. It's no big deal. Apps go down all the time. Websites go down all the time. I would not stress out about it. So the final reason that you're getting zero views on your TikTok is because you're shadow banned. And I do wanna emphasize 99% of you guys are not shadow banned. The ton of people think they're shadow banned. They're not actually shadow banned. If your past five posts have not gotten on the For You page and you're doing everything that you need to do with this latest algorithm update, and if you don't know what you need to do, you need to check out my video on that. But nevertheless, if you're doing those things and your past five posts have not gotten on the For You page, then yeah, you might be shadow banned. But other than that, odds are you aren't. It is really, really, really hard to get shadow banned now. It used to be really easy months ago, but it is really hard to get shadow banned now. Odds are you're just not creating content that the TikTok algorithm wants to see. I have hundreds of creators every single month that sign up for my accelerator program and my mentorship program simply because they think they're shadow banned. They just think they're shadow banned. What actually ends up happening is they start growing like crazy. After they go through the course, they get my personalized recommendations and I'm sending them updates every 48 hours. They start growing like crazy. This happens to creators that just started that think that they're shadow banned and creators that have 100K, 200K, 300K and think that they're shadow banned. I help them both. You know why? Because they're not actually shadow banned. They're just creating content that is not what the TikTok algorithm wants to see. I know what to create for every single need. I know what to do for every single account. So trust me, you're in good hands. Most of these people go from thinking they're shadow banned. Literally, this is how it goes most of the time. They DM me, they think they're shadow banned. I tell them, hey, I offer personalized advice. Get the link in my bio. They go to my bio. They end up signing up for the accelerator program or the mentorship program because they want the peace of mind knowing that if they don't grow, they're going to get their money back guaranteed. So here's what happens. Either everything gets fixed and you start to grow or you get your money back. There's no risk. There's no anything. There's no tricks. It's totally like, this is the greatest thing ever. Imagine if you could invest your money or invest your time in anything else and know that if it didn't work out, you were going to get your money back. You guys all pay for college, you pay for school, and when you can't get a job afterwards or you don't, can't make enough money to pay off your student debt, that college doesn't care. They don't care. They're not giving you your money back because it didn't work. I'm literally going to give you your money back if your account doesn't grow. That being said, if you think you're shadow banned, if you want to grow on TikTok and you want to get a money back guarantee, sign up for my accelerator program or my mentorship program. Both of them guarantee that you're going to get your money back. And if you're not interested in that, I strongly suggest you check out the rest of my content. I have content on everything about TikTok. The TikTok algorithm, is TikTok actually getting banned? What hashtags use? What time to post? All these different things. And if you guys have any questions on any of my videos, make sure you just leave a comment below. I answer every single question to every single video in my podcast. All you have to do is search not another internet guru. You're going to find the podcast. I do a q and A. I I release like three or four episodes a week. Literally just me answering your guys' questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you go check out the other videos also. Actually, before I end this video, I did want to elaborate on one other thing, and that is, I do not think TikTok is going anywhere. I know I mentioned it a little bit before in this video, but the news, the media, they totally took all of these things totally out of proportion. First, the Secretary of State just said that they were looking into TikTok. What does that mean? They've been looking into TikTok for forever. They look into plenty of things. They've been looking into Trump's taxes and tax returns for years. Nothing has happened from that. I look into a ton of things. I'm looking into dating Kylie Jenner. Well, guess what? Probably not going to happen. It could happen in the future, but it's not going to happen right now. So I would not stress out about any of these things. In addition, the latest news that has come out, there's been good 
things. There's been bad or bad things again. First, that Amazon and Wells Fargo are trying to get their employees to not have TikTok on their phone. Guys, this is totally normal. Employers that have stuff on your phone, like if you have your work email, your work calendar, access to exclusive things for your work, of course, they don't want other apps on your phone at all. That's why they give you a work phone in most cases. I don't think your your work cares that you have an app on your phone that you keep at home or something like that. They just care about it for security reasons for that work stuff. They don't want you to have several things. They don't want you to have random app. They don't want you to have Bumble on your work phone. So I wouldn't stress about like, oh, Amazon Wells Fargo doesn't want the employees to have this stuff on their phone. They're talking about their work phone, not their personal phone. Don't blow this stuff out of proportion. I wouldn't listen to the news. I wouldn't listen to the media about all this. Because again, at the end of the day, guys, all it does is help us out. It helps us out because it gets more eyeballs on TikTok. It's free press. Tens of millions of more people are going to download the app as a result of this. I wouldn't stress out about it at all.